I've had a fair number of clients want to use heat pump water heaters lately. This is a cool way to take heat from the air and put it into water in your home. And it's efficient and that's nice, but it does have some little catches and it's got some issues that you wanna make sure that you stay out in front of. One of the things about following the directions from the manufacturer is most of them are gonna require that you put it in a room that is the proper size. They're gonna say something like, we require that this device be put into a room that has 700 cubic feet of air. So let's look at this little room that I've got your heat pump water heater in right here. This room is five feet deep, seven and a half feet wide, eight foot ceiling. So that totals out to a volume of 300 cubic feet. That's less than half of what they want you to have. So they're gonna say, this thing can't be installed in there. You have to do something at this point. And you have two choices. The main choice that everybody's thinking of is you're gonna think, oh, well, I'll just make the room bigger. I'll put it in a bigger room. And this room is 720 cubic feet. This room also has an eight foot ceiling, 10 feet deep, nine feet wide. That's like a small bedroom. So you might not have a room that's that size to put this thing in. And in that case, you all is not lost. Don't worry about it because we can do this instead. If we simply take airflow and put the air we need into that room, we make that room effectively 700 cubic feet if we just replace all the air in there. Um, now this is 300 cubic feet of air again in that room. And what you do is take any volume and divide by 60. So five CFM is a computer fan basically. If we ran a computer fan at five CFM 24 seven, you would be replacing all the air in that room once an hour. That would give you a 600 cubic foot room, which still isn't enough. So you'd need to go up to like seven CFM, still a computer fan. But you can imagine that if you put a 50 CFM bath fan in there and run it 24 hours a day, you could change out the air inside that room uh, 10 times an hour. And that would mean that you turn a 300 cubic foot room into a 3000 cubic foot room, four times the size that they're requiring. So that's a little trick. I reached out to manufacturers to see if they would like give us some technical expertise and get an engineer to be like, oh yeah, that's totally cool. They did not say that. So it's possible that this might void the warranty, but it would give you the same effective performance out of this thing because you are giving it the cubic footage of air that it needs to dump that coolness into and then not suffer as a result and still be able to heat uh, the water by getting a fresh batch of air that it can use. So I hope that that's interesting to you guys. Uh, please do comment below if you have experience with these machines. I don't have one, so I don't know, aside from what I've just seen in trade shows and researched a little bit here and there. So please do comment if you have other things to add about this. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time.